I don't know how thick you'd want to do it. 16. What? Not sunglasses, they're <laughs> So I'm just editing the Jeep Wrangler welding video and I can't find anywhere the start of the video where we've got this Jeep in to weld. It's rotten and let's fix it. So I just thought I'd tell you. So this is the Jeep Wrangler fixing the rotten, rotten thing that started off not being too much, ended up being a lot. Enjoy this episode. Thanks. It's rotten. And if you don't know who we are, we're Shine Automotive, a car project channel on the cheap, really cheap. That's becoming a sort of a catchy catchphrase thing or whatever, or whatever. I don't know, I waffle a lot. Don't know me, I waffle a lot. It's getting close to Christmas. We have some new merch stuff in. They've got released at summer for some reason, all the winter stuff, hoodies, jackets, body warmers. If you want to help the channel in any way, go check it out. Links in the uh, description or pinned comment. Patreon as well. We've also got this Jeep in, the Wrangler. I think it's a Wrangler. What the, I think it's what, I mean, who do you call it? It's got one on this channel, Matt Green. This has come to us because you want some welding. Not too much, but some technical bits of welding. So I've got the front end stripped off, which is giving me loads of room, so I ain't gonna have to take the body off. So I'm taking the anti-roll bar off and then that's gonna give me all the plate. Get the steering box off and then I can weld a nice big plate along here. I might get John to cut me one out, and make one out of cardboard, and then we're gonna wrap a piece that comes around here right to the front. So we're gonna clean all the rust off, and we're gonna, because this is solid, we're gonna let it have it along there and get that solidly done. Because this is the main mounting point for the steering box. But I have to take the steering box off because it's rotted all the way around. So I can't just play it one side and finish it up. So the steering box has got to come off the way, come out the way. So I'll get that out of the way. This side, really good. Not rotten, happy days, and I'm wanted. We are getting somewhere, we are getting somewhere. Steering box, out the way, clean back. It's pretty, pretty good this, in all fairness. Just more to say, scabby there, but I'm gonna get in with a wire wheel and get all this clean back. So I'm gonna weave welding round here and wipe round here. This is basically the, the, the wrong way around. Oh. Oh. This is my lovely template. So I'm going right back to where I can get a good weld. Weld along there. I'm going to come all the way down here. Level it up. Weld all the way down here. And then these, I might just get John to do the holes a little bit bigger. In it. No, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just weld all around there because the nuts sit flash on, flat on the top. So I'm going to weld all that up in there. And then I'll get him to make this times two. I'll just have to cut it back, clean them up to get up in there, same thing again. Them holes line up in there. Cut that back. And I'll weld along here, around here where it's solid, you see. Clean that weld there. Clean all the loose rust off. Clean this. I might end up taking this side off because of the e pump. So I might end up chopping here. Chop along there and then get all this removed. And then with this piece, this piece is the bit that will wrap around right up the top. Right up the top there with five mil extra so we can get welded on to where it's nice and clean. In there, just take all the surface rust off, get it all over plated, clean back, put some rust cure on in the rusty bits, which isn't gonna have um, any welding to. So just a nice over plate in there with ease. So let's get over to John because John has fabricated me some bits for up here where this is broken in here. That's a body mounting point he's been the other week and measured me some bits so that should be made which will be a plate channel to go down there on both sides let's get in the disaster van and let's go see john boy look i've got my safety glasses on safety first look at him he's gassing on the phone absolutely oh every time i come down that man is just sat on the phone gassing look at him he's just absolutely gassing Sat down, chilling out, porky belly. Let's go and see if he can make this thing for me. He doesn't look very happy today. Tired. He says there. he's tired and he looks very busy. I don't know if I'm allowed to show that, but I'm yeah, showing it. Showing it. Right. 
so basically, John, I'm welding a really rough Jeep up. I'm gonna need you to fabricate these two and then this bit, but I don't know how thick you'd want to do it. 16 mil. 16, what? Yeah, like that kind of thing. How am I you gonna bend that round the chassis 16 mil if you heard yourself? I think three to four mil. See my new burner. He's got a new burner, but he's made me this. Hang on, I'll have a look at the burner in a second. So this is the channeling that I was on about that he's made up. So I can use this, because that, for me to fold in my little folder, would be hard work. Look, show me his new burner. Whoa. Is that a big flame? It will be. Wow, what do you reckon? Pop with that, innit? Yeah, you could burn some of your uh, non-paying customers with that, couldn't you? Non I have a few of them. I've got a few of them, I know. Honestly. Right. You like that, don't you? Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. So this is the time he's done where I've got to fit That's my new toy. up in the chassis. I know she's folded that with his folder. So yeah, I need this doing. These holes can be marginal bigger to give me a bit of wiggle room because the bolt don't sit flush. It's like a tube comes out. Yeah. So then I'm going to weld around the tube yeah. and then the top of the chassis is really clean. So it's only literally, we're welding all here and all, that ends at a bracket, you see. So I'm going to weld up to the bracket and then this is a bit that will join the two. Is there any steps on it? Or is that just part of the box? No, yeah, forget about there. Forget that straight, forget that I didn't even realise yet. Yeah, don't, and don't cut that out. Just make that straight, straight but five, five mil wider. Straight bit of, but straight bit of puppy. Yes, and then I'll manipulate, bend that round to suit Manip the shape. Yeah. That'll do. Because I need, I can't, I thought I'll get it all made up and slide it up, but then I, can't, I won't get it over the holes and stuff. So it'd be How better to build, build it. Eh? How are we getting on with I've it? I've just started it today. Ooh, what Got the steering box off. Okay. No problem, not rounded any bolts off. Don't jinx yourself. So how much is that gonna cost me? What? This. Nothing normally, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, well how much is this gonna cost me? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. We all know how good a job we did at plastering that wall though, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I've got to go back there and probably do some more plastering around the doors. I might just uh, do it with, um, what's that stuff called? Expanding form? No, no, not that one. What, round your doors? What's it called? Don't put that polyfiller stuff in, That's in the pot. Right? No, you're not. No, you're not. So they've already started doing it as door people. Have they? Yeah. Is it rough? No, they're all right. Job is just, they haven't done the beading. If I did the beading, I could just paint it. Yeah, be nice. I'm sick of that house, mate. Are you? Yeah. Sick of it. Sick Has of it. any plaster fallen off on the walls yet? No. Well, no. yeah. Totally. What? No, not in your wall. I thought you went in the house. In the house? Top of the stairs, yeah. Where you run up and down. The amount, the amount of people have actually uh, said we did a banging job of that. I drove past it the other day. That was in the week in Shane. It gets tiger stripes down it, have you seen? The dampness. Yeah, the runoff of the tiles. Yeah. I'm not bothered, but it drives on a bit on that. I bet. It runs down like yeah, it. Yeah, like lines down the wall. You want some J-mold? <laughs> <laughs> That's what, that's what that. stopped it in the wagon, like. Getting aluminium trims down the side of your wall. Oh, God, you got mental, would not you? Yeah, What's this? Like that. What's this for? That's repaired. Is that for this? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... I'm trying to start the XRTT this week. To do some more on it. But Nathan damaged the KA and we're racing in 20 days, so I've got to get that sorted as well. Oh, that's crazy. Don't bend the car, Nathan. So he's bent the car. Not that bad, though. Should be able to do it in two days. So, John, give me a price. Nine grand. Can I have my cardboard back? Can I buy a bit of flat plate off you, please? I'll do it for you. Oh, he's a legend. <laughs> no, I don't need it done today. I've got this I've got now, so I can go and get on with this. You, you'll get on with your plow, and then let me know when it's done. It's not the end of the world get if it's not this. Get I don't need air cut. Jonathan, on. look, bring that, bring that jacket back here. Have a look, I've it's got hoodies, t-shirts, and uh, fleeces. All out, eh? All out. Yeah. Do you want overalls? Check out the invisible merch shop. John's got a merch store coming soon. If you need any bits, <laughs> I might put it on my merch channel, and I'll take all the revenue because I've got the design. I love a t-shirt. It's a nice t-shirt, that. Nice t-shirt. Does anyone want one of them t-shirts? Comment down below. Nice hoodie. There's plenty of room in them, look. Yeah, well, you, he needs plenty, plenty of room. room. Have you got places to put your thumb through? Oh, yes, come on. Look. Give him the thumb. So you don't, your top doesn't look. So your top doesn't come up when, yeah. you're, on, when you're on motorbike. Yeah. Right, That's cheers it. for that, John. I'm off. That's it.
Yeah, yeah. Nice, you will look busy, mate. Yeah. You look busy. Yeah. 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 Van's all set up, look at this. Everything we needs. Charge. Nuts and bolts. Charging on the go. Charging on the go. Welding on the go. <laughs> Welding on the go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, bubble bubble bum, bum, bum yours. Good that like. 200 amp lock, you want some power, you just how it comes. Oh. Got none of this cable around. Yeah, I've got a cordless extension yeah, cable, me. Oh, oh I'm bright! Do, do it in the dark, welding in the dark. They look familiar, them. Good, aren't they? Yeah. Smash that one, though. I think I've got a couple of them spare. Yeah. yeah, I am. Cheers, John. Thanks, John. I'm liking these different camera angles at the moment. Getting creative. Oh, he's a sexy man. Right, so this is down on the floor now. We're going to get the seats out, centre control and all the carpet out so then we can start tapping in and putting in the rail that John made. So that's the next stage, get the interior out because there's two bits to do on this side and one bit to do on that side. So that is what we're doing. And finally, Lewis has turned up to work. It's like gone 11 o'clock and he's only just rocking up. What have you got to say? I uh, not slept in. Oh, well, we've got the carpets out, the hole there, and obviously the holes here, part of the body mount, and uh, yeah, there's been a little rodent in here, there's been a little rodent, so now it's all ready for us to get working on the welding inside here. Not sunglasses there, are they? <laughs> So what we'll do is we'll chop the rust out, rust out, the rust out here, and then we'll get our lovely place. And it'll go nicely without the music taking over the studio. And go into there. And we'll grind them all down flat and then we'll piece it all up. Very nice. Lewis, if you also we've been filming the process of this and I have to go away. So if you can just now and then just do a few cinematics. So we've dug a hole here, as you can see, there's the inside there. And there's also some fuel pipes and breeder pipes. Are there fuel pipes? Are those fuel pipes? I don't know. No, the brake pipes, I think. Yes, brake pipes. One of them breeder for fuel tank. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get them moved before we weld it up. Well, before Matt welds it. Chassis, the main man. Just gonna save me a lot of time. Look how many, Look how many attempts he's had. Look how many he's had. Oh, he had, had no problems. And and as always, I'm I'm on the scrounge. Just need a bit more steel. So this is this is little guillotine behind here, and there's always a big pile of goodies for the the automotive welder. Oh, goodies. 
Right, so I've got this side done, both sides, and then what we'll do is wrap that round and weld it and wrap it round as we go, and then we can dress the edges off. Cut this a bit proud, flap it down, and then we can get that all buzzed up. But she's there. She's welding on very nicely, very nice. Right, so that's all done. I've double welded up this, and then what we can do now is use a grinder to roll this so we lose it, so it stays looking pretty factory. So I'm well happy with that. Not too bad at all. I might have to weld again in there, and to roll that, we'll just drop this down. I would just give it a nice grind off, just to the shape, and then black it, but we need to take this, make it look pretty good. So there we go, happy with days, and that's the back chassis bit. Squared away nicely, now onto the dreaded floor bit. But Matthew, it's kindly got all the sheet metal work done on the inside and then we need to work out this in here and then to get the body mount back off. So I think I'm going to do all that welding in the floor section inside the motor right now. So like we did with the van not so long back, this is not, and I repeat, we're not doing a classic restoration on this. This is to get the vehicle so it can be serviced and utilised and used on the road. So Matthew has made these lovely, lovely plates and then we're going to start getting this all buzzed back in. This is the mounting point for the, the anti-roll bar. So then we will bolt back through and cap it all off underneath properly. So it isn't following the floor lines. That's fine. The only bit that isn't going to get welded in here unless you can break this down. But we'll work all the way along here and we'll break this bit down to meet and we'll just tap that down along there. Get welded along here all nice and weld along here onto the seat floor mount that goes through into the chassis that's good this part is good but we've just moved it to keep the structure in there so it's the same on both sides which i didn't account for when i looked first looked at the job but there we go so they're nicely made so we're going to get some fireproof sheeting matting thing that i've got that throws over that seat open both doors and i'll get somebody sat behind me watching So we've got the back end up, we just nibbed it up on this bolt here, got all the uh, back bolts out and all the front ones up to there. These have all come out absolutely mint. And the ones, the two, there's two up there, can you see there? And on the other side. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is open this up enough and then get a nice big block of wood in there to hold it. But be very careful with your hands. That's what I'm telling myself. And so I've got enough clearance to get all this worked up and lined up properly to get this mount back in with our channeling, like so.
Starting to annoy me now. <laughs> it's just like taking forever. It's all done, nice. Just got a little bit more shaping to do. I just need to run this edge off. Just roll it up like this nicely. And we get a tiny bit of seam sealer in there. So it just looks nice. And then that's really nice and strong now. Back for holding the steering box on. Little patch in there, nothing too flash. Just buzzed round and a good old um, stone tip up. All these back bits done here. That's all done. That's all got the brushable seam sealer in there. Make it all nice and toy again so that's all boxed off and now we can re-bolt the body mounts back in that's nice and strong that one's all done at the back all rolled off and shaped just a tiny bit of seam sealer in there just to take the sharpness of it plenty of stone chip on there beautiful all the rusty brushed down with a brush brush cure a few more bits left to do but that is it for today isn't it yes dad it is so my next stage because this is about five days on now constantly on this for five days is to have a real good clean around clean all the ramp down send it up in the air get it all blowed off underneath everything ready and prepped to stone chip all underneath i have 10 tins which i don't know if 10 tins is going to be enough because i want really nice coverage so that's going to be the next bit once we've cleaned up Yeah, so we've got all cleaned up and now we are just working out the body mounts and getting all the body mounts, the brackets for the side bars, and they're all gotta go back on. And then onto the two post ramp for a good clean off underneath. Bit of rust cure here and there, and then stone chip it. I put a bit of stone chip under there now, where the tank goes, and then where the steering box goes as well. So that's stone chipped up so we can get the steering box on there and then vehicle all taped up and then send underneath. Absolutely send it. You got me feeling like a firebolt High in the sky Looking like a thunderstorm oh, Here we go, 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 go You're easy to remember So how do you forget And the baby is a coward when you strut
going back in now, Lewis, aren't we? Yeah. Looking slide. good. Looking good. All interior is going back in now. Carpet's going in. Very nice. So it's a couple of days later, and as you can see now, when it dries, fully cures, it looks absolute mega. And that piece that we've pieced in there, all the way laps, fine that the goes back on, and then that's the piece that we put in. So it blends in now. Whoa. It's mega. It looks horrible, this storm tip, for a few days until it fully cures and sets. I just needed to show you that one. Right, I'm in the vehicle, and my cradle is terrible in a really bad position, but there we go. Deep for test. Wishes. Good luck. We need it. We could do with a pity on this because this has been a long time coming. Pass its test. A couple of drop links, that's all it needed. And that's another one done. So, on to another project. Thanks for watching. I've been Colin.